of the Midland, when a station was built at the bottom of Bolsover Hill by the pit. The line ran along the Scarsdale Valley, and the station at Bolsover was a single platform with a single track. Passenger services were run up to the mid-30s, when competition from road transport won the day. It was possible to travel by one of the eight trains per day to Sheffield, Mansfield and Chesterfield, and for the first time ordinary people were able to visit these local towns. Between 1890 and 1895, the second and probably more emotive railway was built with its substantial station at Carvale. This was part of a grand plan to link the east and west coasts by a major cross-country route to be known as the Lancashire, Derbyshire and East Coast Railway. In the event, it was only completed between Chesterfield and Lincoln. The line was taken over in 1907 by the Great Central Railway. At Bolsover, a major two-mile-long tunnel linking Bolsover and Scarcliffe stations was built. This was always a source of trouble, with water seeping into the tunnel and mining substance causing many problems. The station itself will be remembered for its passenger service to Chesterfield and Lincoln, and for many seaside trips. Sidings, one of which served the Bolsover Jam Factory. At the western end, on the approaches to the station, a large viaduct carried the line over the Midland Line. In 1910, a tragic accident...